Hello guys, it's Tim and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another Sims 4 video and today we are building a tiny Japanese home, which also happens to be a starter home. Which I didn't plan on, I plan on building this a lot where James Turner built his starter home and I just wanted to build a cute home there because I didn't like the home. Sorry James, not nothing offensive towards you, but I wanted to build my own home here. So first I was building this really well, big home and I was like, you know, this is not a plan, so I bulldozed it. And then I came up with a structure for a tiny home and I was like, wait, this looks like a tiny home. How many tiles is it? I believe it is even a micro home. It is really, really small. I think I, I used like 30 out of 32 tiles or 32 out of 32. I you guys can see it in the, in the top. I can't because when I'm doing this voiceover, it is very small and I can't actually read any of the lettering. So, you know, just I, I believe it was 30 out of 32. And then halfway when I was building it, I was like, you know what would be really amazing? If I were to transform this into a starter home as well. Now, it does not only use a uh, snowy escape in base game. I mean, that would be too, too beautiful. You can't have that. There must be some sort of realism in there. So... But it is a starter home and it is a tiny home and I feel like it's absolutely cute. I also feel like it looks really Japanese. You can see me finding out, you know, a really good Japanese door for it from the Snowy Escape expansion pack. Uh, turns out there aren't any that I like for this home, so we end up using the tiny living uh, door. You will need a tiny living, you know, just to have this lot. Because if you don't have tiny living and you are downloading this lot, there is a lot of items missing. Tiny living is like my baby. I, I can't live without tiny living. Ironically, I hate tiny houses. That's just the fact. Like tiny homes, they look amazing. It's not for me. It really is not for me. I have way too many uh, items for that. I have way too much stuff. That's just the sad reality. But you know what? That's life. It has to be like that. So right now we are figuring out the floor plan. And since it is very small, there isn't a lot to think about. I was like, you know, but I want to do it perfect. So we end up doing the exterior first. So we are just seeing what I wanted to do. In the end, I decided to go for the paneling from a snowy escape. And just do it side by side. So you see me like creating some items that of some places that I haven't painted yet. And then we are using the other thing, you know, the wall paint to just left, left, left that extra bit of sparkle that it needed. And then obviously we are placing this item on the roof. I'm not actually sure what it is. I just know that it exists on the roof in Japanese homes. Not really sure what it is, but you know what? It's there. We're gonna live with it. Also, look at me placing a chimney. Like this place is going to have a fireplace. I mean, so optimistic. Man, was I wrong. So at this point, I still wasn't, wasn't uh, aware that I was gonna make it into a starter home. So we are just making it completely fancy on the outside and that's why I am so shook that I actually succeeded in it in making it a starter home. I believe this home um, is 1,362,000... Wait, that's not, that's not correct. 18,000? Roughly a 18k. I, I can't say numbers today, I'm sorry. It's weekend, I don't have to think about numbers, just leave me alone. Okay, don't don't judge me. <laughs> and here I was like, ooh, you know, this is pretty low. What if I could make it into a starter home? So then I placed the fridge and I was like, okay, the sink, and I really want to have a microwave in there. So we are actually gonna re replace the big fridge with this uh, from, from Discover University, because on top of those, the fridge can actually be. Which is absolutely amazing. And look at this, I built an 18k starter home. It's perfect for one sim and it has cabinets. Like what? Plus it has a TV and a computer. And really good stats on that as well. I mean, I'm amazing. I'm I'm just, I'm the best simmer out there. It's, it's confirmed. Nim for best simmer. Just, can we all have a competition and you guys vote for me? Okay, just, yes. <laughs> I'm so happy with the way this kitchen turned out. I'm also really happy with the new uh, countertops that you can actually place items underneath it. So uh, you don't have really, you don't need that much space on top of the counter. So that's really good as well. And there you go, the computer. This perfect little nook for our desk computer and bookcase. 
because you know those books count as bookcase and there is even skill building items in here and there's an entire uh like green greenery is that the word that i'm looking for like green green area in the in the garden planters that was the word i'm looking for so you can actually grow your own vegetables and here we are using the tiny living tv you know and this one it has a tv an entertaining set so the radio and a bookcase in it it's three in one absolutely love it it's going to use the tiny living couch and then this new uh rug from snowy escape which i absolutely love i used to have a rug like that it was from a sheep and it smelled really bad so i put it in the washer biggest mistake ever um it didn't turn out well if you ever have like a sheep like sheep skin don't put it in the washer it will ruin it seriously guys trust me on this i've done it i failed it will ruin it and we are going to use the eco lifestyle mirror for this which i feel is really contemporary and i feel like eco lifestyle snowy escape and tiny living are a really good match like those three packs they match together so well if you don't know what pack to get like you can pick three packs i would totally go for tiny living snowy escape and eco lifestyle and I say this with pain in my heart because I love cats and dogs as well. I mean, that's one of my favorite packs, but these three are such a good combination. And I can't get over the fact of how well they combine and how well the items match. Just wow. Love it. Also, can we talk about the wall paint, like the tile when the kitchen, it looks like the kitties are actually just climbing on top of the counters. I did it on purpose. I was like, you know what, that would be really cool. And it actually worked, so I'm really happy with it. I mean, look, they're just sitting there on the counters, they're climbing up. I feel like that's such an amazing, like, idea that I had. Amazing. There we go, that was the inside done. Now we are moving over to the uh, exterior. We are going to use this little black planter uh, just in that little nook over there. And we are going to put a plant in there just to make it look homesy. You know, and obviously mailbox. And then we are actually, um, oh yeah, the bin inside. I always forget the bin, but it's there. Don't worry. And then we are actually, uh, well, okay, so I didn't cut this part. I was looking at traits that I could use, but I decided I didn't want any. But we are going to start on the garden next. And we are actually going to place some planters after we put these trees down just to make it look, you know, lift in. And I really wanted to make this look like there's like this gateway that you could go walk, walk past the home from one side to the other side of the road and i feel like i absolutely succeeded in that also with a little fence here which is open so your sims can just walk in there then we are going to place the little bench from snowy escape and it absolutely matches like i can't believe i'm saying this but this might be one of my best builds so far and it's really tiny and it's not what i usually do but i just love it Obviously, um, at this point we were at 17k, I believe, if I read that correctly. We are going to use some debug items for landscaping. So they are like zero simoleons, so kind of cheating, but shh, don't tell anyone. These bushes, they're my favorite bushes, and I love that they are in the snowy expansion as well, so that they actually look like they belong there. I'm so in love with it. And then the other bushes as well, and we're using these lavender patches which are perfect and they really, really fit there. And I believe we are also going to use some base game flowers, if I remember correctly. Right? Yeah, I believe we are. Yeah, there they are. And we are going to place them all around this bench. And then in a minute, we are going to do a lot of terrain paint because at the moment it looks kind of blunt and boring. And we don't want that. So we want it to look exciting and alive. Now this build is up on the gallery so you can download it from there my origin id is in the description down below so is all my other socials and if you enjoyed this build i mean you could subscribe to this channel and you get more builds like this and even for some other games as well you could planet zoom this channel as well thinking of maybe doing some planet coaster not quite sure yet let me uh, let me know what you guys think of that in the comments so remember to subscribe, I'm gonna say it again, but it really helps my YouTube channel grow and that's something what I really want. Like I want to build this awesome, great community, but I am gonna need you guys help with that. So if you could subscribe, if you want to, of course, I'm not forcing you, but if you want to, that'd be pretty neat. Like you don't even have to put a notification bell on if you don't want that, I mean, you could, but you don't necessarily have to, but just, you know, like, comment, subscribe, 
all those YouTube things, you know, just do them. It's, and I know that a lot of YouTubers say that and you're probably gonna get um, really sick of people saying that and I'm, I'm sorry for that, but you know, um, I felt like it was necessary to say in this build. Anyways, guys, we are heading up to the screenshots. Make sure you stay tuned for that and I will hope to see you on the next video. Bye, guys.